In the heart of the Baltic region lies a land of enchantment and mystery, where the whispers of time seem to echo through its rolling hills and ancient forests. This land is none other than Latvia, a country that has woven its own narrative into the tapestry of European history. As I contemplate the essence of Latvia, I am reminded of the words of the renowned author who once said, every landscape is, as it were, a state of the soul, and whoever penetrates into both is astonished to find how much likeness there is in each detail. The spirit of Latvia is one of resilience, a quality that seems to emanate from its very soil. Its journey through the annals of time has been one fraught with challenges and triumphs, and this dichotomy has lent its people a unique depth of character. Just as characters in a novel face adversity and evolve through their experiences, Latvia too has evolved, crafting a narrative that is rich with both sorrowful tales and tales of hope. As I wander through the cobbled streets of Riga, the capital city, I am transported back to eras long past. The architecture stands as a testament to the nation's history, with each building holding a fragment of time within its walls. The medieval spires reach for the sky, as if attempting to touch the stories of bygone centuries. The tranquil flow of the Dagava River serves as a silent witness to the tales of trade and cultural exchange that have shaped Latvia's identity. The Latvian countryside, a symphony of green and gold, offers a glimpse into the nation's profound connection with nature. The dense forests, pristine lakes, and vast meadows speak of a bond that has remained unbroken for generations. It is said that the world of nature mirrors the human spirit, reflecting both its tranquility and its untamed wildness. Latvia, in all its facets, embodies this profound connection. Just as a master storyteller weaves intricate plots and multidimensional characters, Latvia's story is not one-dimensional. It is a narrative of struggle and victory, of cultural heritage and modern innovation, of a people who have weathered storms and emerged stronger. Its voice is one that resonates through the pages of history, beckoning us to delve deeper into its chapters and uncover the treasures that lie within. In conclusion, Latvia is a living story, a narrative that unfolds with every step taken on its soil. Its essence is captured in the words of the great author, life is a book, and there are a thousand pages I have not yet read. So too, the story of Latvia continues to be written, each page revealing a new layer of its enigmatic soul. Its cities, like characters, have their own distinct personalities. Liepāja, with its windswept beaches and the haunting melodies of its music, seems to sing the ballads of the sea. Dagavpils, with its diverse tapestry of cultures, tells the story of coexistence and unity in diversity. Each place, each corner of Latvia, has its own voice, its own tale to share. The people of Latvia are the protagonists of this narrative, their lives interwoven with the landscape, the history, and the dreams of their nation. Through their eyes, we see the struggles and aspirations that have shaped the nation. Their resilience mirrors the strength of character that runs like an undercurrent through Latvian society. The festivals that burst forth with vibrant colors, the songs that echo through the air, and the dances that celebrate both past and present, all reveal a people who know how to treasure their heritage while embracing the possibilities of tomorrow. In this land of ever-changing seasons, the passage of time is palpable. As winter blankets the countryside in a glistening embrace, the people gather to share stories by the hearth. Spring breathes life into the land, as if coaxing the earth to awaken from its slumber. Summer brings a burst of energy, with festivals and celebrations that seem to stretch out under the endless daylight. And as autumn paints the trees in hues of gold and amber, it serves as a reminder that change is both inevitable and beautiful. Latvia's narrative, much like a novel, is not static. It is dynamic, evolving with the turning of the years. As the world hurtles forward, Latvia stands as a guardian of its own story, preserving traditions while embracing progress. Its journey, like that of a beloved literary character, is a testament to the power of adaptation, growth, and the human spirit's capacity to overcome. In the end, Latvia is a masterpiece penned by the hands of time, a story that is both personal and universal. Its landscapes and people are chapters that unfold in harmony, inviting us to immerse ourselves in their depths. As I contemplate this nation, I am reminded of the immortal words. There are books so alive that you're always afraid that while you weren't reading, the book has gone and changed, has shifted like a river. 
so too does Latvia shift and flow, inviting us to be part of its ever-evolving tale. As I delve deeper into the narrative of Latvia, I am drawn to the echoes of history that resonate in its very foundation. The pages of its past are written in the castles and manors that stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time. Cesus Castle, with its weathered stones and imposing walls, seems to whisper tales of battles fought and alliances forged. Rundale Palace, a masterpiece of Baroque architecture, invites us to step into the opulent world of European aristocracy. But beyond the grandeur of monuments, it is the everyday stories of the Latvian people that truly bring the narrative to life. The fishermen who set out on the tranquil waters of the Gulf of Riga, the artisans who craft intricate patterns in their amber jewelry, and the farmers who toil in the fields to provide sustenance, each individual adds their own brushstroke to the canvas of Latvia. Language, a cornerstone of any culture's narrative, weaves a thread of identity that connects the Latvian people across time and space. The poetic beauty of the Latvian language reflects the nation's soul, capturing the essence of its landscapes, traditions, and dreams. Through their words, the Latvian people share their joys and sorrows, their history and aspirations, in a symphony of sounds that reverberates through generations. As I consider Latvia's global significance, I am reminded of the world-renowned author's observation that literature adds to reality, it does not simply describe it. It enriches the necessary competencies that daily life requires and provides, and in this respect, it irrigates the deserts that our lives have already become. Similarly, Latvia's unique narrative enriches the global tapestry of human experience. Its contributions to music, art, and literature have transcended borders, sparking inspiration and fostering understanding among cultures. 